Hello and welcome to Asian Highlands. We have four different species of animals in this area of the zoo. We have snow leopards, an armored leopard, red pandas, and takin. Although all these animals came from the same area of the world, they have very different diets. So we have our carnivores, and we do have two different herbivores, but even those herbivores go about getting the vegetation in very different ways. Red panda is actually a really special case of its own. Um, they're actually in the same order as our carnivores, so if you look at them, they have teeth that are designed more for a meat diet. They're actually really good, they would be good hunters, they have a really great sense of smell, um, the way that they move around the exhibit, they're very agile, um, but these animals don't choose to eat meat. They actually are primarily uh, herbivores. So in the wild habitat, they're going to get 95% of their diet from bamboo and bamboo alone. They will also eat some grasses, some fruits, insects, maybe a bird here and there, but their preference is bamboo. So that's exactly what we try to do here as well. Um, they're going to get bamboo every single day, but bamboo is a pretty low nutrient food item, so we do supplement that with some pellet. So along with the bamboo, we do feed a pelleted food called a leaf eater biscuit. Uh, this pelleted food is designed for animals that mainly eat vegetation. It's going to have the minerals, the vitamins, all the things they would naturally be getting through that vegetation packed into it. So it helps us ensure that they're getting the whole dietary needs while we can also supplement with that bamboo. So the bamboo is the largest part of their diet. We're very lucky here at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo to have a really amazing horticulture team that can actually grow that bamboo for us. Shipping in brows from other parts of the, the country even can get really expensive. So this is a really unique way that the zoo can help lower the cost of feeding our animals by growing some of that brows on grounds instead of having to ship everything in. So talking are unlike our pandas where they don't have as generalized of a diet. They can actually eat evergreens, deciduous plants, but mainly they'll eat whatever they can reach. Because of that, we can give them a little bit of different of a diet. So they're going to get a lot of hay that's going to take up some of that vegetation need. And then they also get that same pelleted form, just a different kind. It's more formulated for what nutrients and vitamins they would be getting out of their natural diet. 